That's it right there. Look at it now. He goes to. He go, she goes slow. He go. I might just hit it through a whore. That's on my element. I like dark skin. Love a melanin. Talk, pussy, move the talk. When I'm stepping in. Thank you for clicking this video and welcome. The other day, my friend Demi texted me and she was like, she wanted a list of places to go for brunch in London just so that, you know, she can spice up her weekends. I was about to make a list and I was like, you know what? I'll just make a blog post for you and I'll give you in a couple days. Right now, I'm done with the blog post. Did that yesterday. I haven't published it yet because I want to go to one more spot. Anywho, this video is for you. If you're living in London, you want somewhere really cute or aesthetically pleasing, rooftop, whatever, to go for lunch with your friends. Or even if you're someone visiting, who wants to go for lunch with the girls, with your man, just your mates at work. On this video, I'm going to be sharing with you about 14 to 15 really gorgeous brunch spots in London. I hope you love this. Don't forget to click the link in the description for my blog post where all the details, phone numbers, pictures, postcodes of all these lovely places are list will be. The first place I'll say is St. Amy's. St. Amy's is somewhere in Cornwall. I really love the place. It's really pink. They have a lot of installations um, according to the season. I love this place because the staff are always very accommodating. They are so nice. The price right. The menu fabulous. Peggy Potion is really, really popular. Everyone knows Peggy Potion. You, at least you've seen that pink building on Instagram in um, Belgravia and Victoria where people go to take pictures. So Peggy Potion is another one. Peggy Potion also has a branch in Chelsea and I'll share that on the blog post. and in like the symbol of and Ilan has I would say it's different locations I have all the postcodes in the blog post they are cute I really love the branch in because they're two in night speed but there's one close to Harris that's my favorite one the stuff just the vibe is just so great there <laughs> as well but the one I've been to is the one in Selfridge is just upstairs the Aubain is a passionate marriage of French culinary creativity descending standards of the London dining scene the, the menu in Aubain um, has a taste of modern France with a nod to the traditional Is drunch. So I visited drunch with my friend Mary. There was a the time we did this um, cafe crawl in London. When she, one time she came from Lagos and then we went to drunch. We spent most of the time taking pictures outside because the floral installation there was really pretty. You have branches in Mayfair and in Regent Park. So yeah, Dalloway Terrace, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. It's kind of upstairs-ish, not really a rooftop, but it has an outdoor vibe. And the decor there is always amazing. The food there also is on point. Oh my gosh, the Ivy 
it just like <laughs> land. In fact, I think the Ivy has much more branches in London. Every corner of London literally has an the Ivy. So yeah, the my favorite one, which I think I've been to just two of them, but the Chelsea Garden one is beautiful because it has kind of a conservatory area as well. And then the food, the price is on point. You have to also make it looking to eat them. Oh. Dolce Vita. I've been there just once with a group of friends but I, I already have a booking to go again with another group of friends. It's a beautiful place in Knightsbridge as well. Deco on point a lot of times outside eating is the best when it's not cold. The prices are just okay. <music> Oh my gosh, Fair is a really cozy spot. I was supposed to go Fair Year with my friend in December, but we couldn't because the COVID, everything just spoiled everything. So we literally just went and looked around. It's a place that's kind of sophisticated and elegant. It's a very Instagrammable spot. I think there are two of them. There's one in Bond Street and there's another one in Knightsbridge. Yeah. <laughs> If you watched my video, I think five videos back, I literally died in Copa Club, the igloo, you have to be like eight there, minimum of 130, all the details will be there, but the view from the igloo of Tower Bridge is so amazing. Even the igloo itself, the space itself, or Copa Club, staff on point, so amazing. I loved, enjoyed my stay there. And I think you'll definitely love it there as well. <laughs> with you some three places that are rooftops so first of all is the rooftop so the rooftop is a spring garden i'm just going to show you um, pictures of the place and then um yeah go on the blog post to make your bookings <laughs> Next is Aviary. I've actually visited Aviary with a group of girls as well, but I just haven't edited the video. I'll probably put um, clips of it and hopefully one day edit that video. It's a rooftop and it's really, really um, classy. The view there is not really, really the best view, I'll say, but yeah, it's beautiful. The staff amazing. Everywhere airy, beautiful. Just aesthetically pleasing. The food is on point as well. We enjoyed everything we edited that day. <laughs> Christopher's. Christopher's is a modern um, American restaurant. It has a martini bar, private dining, and then the steak at Christopher's. On point, guys. Very, very on point. Trust me, I love it. <laughs> Bills, bills, just like Elan and um, what's the other one? The IV. It's everywhere in London, literally. I haven't been to anyone, but I'll be going to my first one today. I'm literally on my way there. So, meet my friend and we we'll have food, and then we'll just end this video. So, on my way now, the rest of the video will be filmed on my phone, but don't worry, the quality is still going to be good. I'm here now. Um, I know it's not quite here yet, so let's just try to make a few videos. So, that's it right there. I think yeah feel that's it i'm just gonna cross the road now and maybe just sit down get a drink and be waiting for her because <laughs> me i'm three minutes late so I go, yeah i need to always wait <laughs> so yeah i keep saying i need to explore this richmond area well like i literally live here and i go my life 
by always going into Central London and everything. You know why the vibe here is not even bad at all. How do you even count to this album? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to click the blog post in the description box so you see the full address the full numbers and please subscribe and click the bell right beside the subscribe button click the thumb up button right now drop a comment because i love to read from you see you on the next episode guys bye bye